up, my guys? We are back. This is the Juice Box. Some may say it's Christmas season. Others may say it's college hoop season. Others may say it's bowl season. But you know what I say? It's Spider-Man No Way Home season. What's up, boys? I thought you were going to say Happy Hanukkah. <laughs> that would have been funny as fuck. But yeah, no, this is this is the first episode, or this is the last episode before we actually go see the movie. I know. Which is fucking wild. I know. Time's flying. It's a shame Big Czar couldn't be here tonight to discuss it, but it's okay. He's here in spirit. I want to know something. Do you, uh, because I don't like these kind of people, what I'm about to talk about. But I feel like it's our civic duty of what we need to do. Friday's episode, are we going to talk about what happened in Spider-Man? Or are we going to give it a week before and let others see it? Because you could go either way. You want to be the first people talking about it. But then at the same time, I don't like spoiling things for others. I think you could have a segment. Be like, yeah, time it out. And when it drops, say, like, skip to 14, yeah, that's 32. Good. Like because that. I'm talking. Have like f- five minutes where you just get it all yeah, out there. I do I like, like that. that. Uh, because I'm talking about it. Especially if it's yeah. as great as the hype. Like, there's no way I'm not talking about it on Friday. I feel like you're going to talk about it one way or another. Yeah. So you're like, damn. Right? Yeah. Very yeah, excited. It, yeah, it's happening. They, they, I, it's probably changed by now, but I saw that they said already that... Sixty million dollars worth of tickets have been bought for the Thursday and Friday shows, and forty million of it's from the United States. Wow! Just for Thursday and Friday. Well, yeah, that's nuts. I don't know what the stats are now, but what was what was it? It was like the tickets bought opening night were like very close to the ones that were bought for End Game. It's gonna be tight. I was gonna it's, say like that seems like a ton. Is that how it is? Is that like it's not always of, like that. I was gonna say, no. is it something special? Yeah, it's definitely normally something special. Yeah, I would say it's definitely something special. Normally, like I'll give you an example here. Like Fast and Furious Nine did like one hundred and sixty million opening weekend. Uh, okay, but only thirty million of it was the United States. The rest was like China. Yeah. So the fact that like. Only counting the Thursday and Friday tickets, it's already to sixty million. I saw they're they're projecting the first. I want to I want to say I'm going to get these numbers wrong, but I don't think I'm going to honestly. I think I read that they're projecting it's going to do a quarter of a billion to a half of half a billion dollars in the first weekend. I, That's I mean, nuts. Yeah, I mean I could see that happening, and it sucks. We're not staying staying on the topic, but it sucks, especially with this whole. Omnicron shit, it's going to be a huge, that's going to put a little bit of a damper on as many ticket sales, like people actually going to the theater to what see the fuck's the Omnicron? A new fucking strand of COVID or whatever. Uh, yeah. But like, I, I, I didn't know the pronunciation. No, my bad. I might have said it wrong. <laughs> yeah, I, but I just mean, I just meant like, if it doesn't beat Endgame, I'm blaming it on because I, yeah, of COVID I stuff. I, I just thought of Entourage whenever it was uh, Aquaman was coming Dude, out yeah. and all the rolling blackouts. Yeah, backs are against the wall, but they can still. Well, you're right. It, was it Spider Man in the movie? Was yeah, it, did, were they? Yeah, they. We, they, we beat Spider Man. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Dude, to, Toby's you're right. first Spider Man, yeah, I think. That's cool. Yeah, I, I mean, yeah. I mean, I don't know, not to be a dick, but, like, I don't even pay attention to that shit anymore. No, I don't either, but I just, from TikTok and shit, like, people are saying, like, if it doesn't beat out Endgame, like, that's a huge factor as to why. Well, it's not going to be on any, it's, like, just in the theaters, right? Yeah. There's going to not, not be any in four weeks, it's going to be on streaming, mm-hmm. right? Okay. No. I, I'm so happy it's like that. Me too. And and I, I'm, I'm very, very excited, too, because I've just been reading... So many things to where, like, Kevin Feige's comparing it to, like, basically he was saying the reason we're able to do these movies is because when we made Civil War and we had everybody there, we were able to just shoot those scenes in one or two days. He was comparing this movie to, like, a Civil War, Infinity War, and Endgame-esque, which kind of throws my brain for a loop here, and I think he's trying to, uh, he might be trying to trick me because now I'm sitting back thinking, like, are we just completely rolling out that there's not going to be other MCU characters in this movie other than Spider-Man and Doctor Strange? Like, what if there's what if yeah, there's cameos I, from all of them? Because he just keeps comparing them. Dude, I know. I think there's so much hype around the other two Spider-Mans 
where like no one has even thought about that. Because I'll be honest, I haven't until yeah. I read that this week. I was just expecting the Toby and Andrew thing, and I, I, I mean, I'm, I don't want to confirm it. Like, I don't want to say it's going to happen, but I've been seeing. You know how when they make movies, they make like the sketches of what the scenes yeah. they want to look like. There were two of them that came yeah, out where there were two Spider Man, Spider Men in it. No, right. yeah, so yeah, that's crazy. No, it, like draw it leaked. Yeah, dude. No, it I was. Mean, I don't even think that that promo art, whatever you want to call it, was a leak. I think that it just came out, and I think maybe at this point they're like, whatever. I, I mean, I I don't know. And then I saw somebody was getting ready. I think you touched on this last week, but since it's No Way Home week, somebody <laughs> went to <laughs> went to pre. What is it? Pre buy or pre the movie? The actual hard copy of the movie. Like you pre buy, pre pre order, pre order. And it like on the website it said starring Tom Holland, Andrew Garfield, and Toby McGuire. There are like across the world, like people going to buy pre order their tickets, like you go to the movie theater and buy them, where it even says like on the thing starring Toby Maguire and Andrew Garfield and shit. Which, like, I get. So, but I, I, wow, but what if it's just like a big. That's I, what I'm saying. Know. I'm still not. It's like I'm, a Houdini. I'm still not fucking. I'm not sold on it yet until and I see it. I go back and forth because part of me is like, maybe this is a. Maybe this is how they get people from like around the world to go. Maybe yeah. people that aren't like big Marvel heads like us to go. But then at the same time, dude. The fucking whole world's connected on the internet. So what are we doing? What if it the caveats like it's their voices? Like yeah, they did voiceovers in yeah. the movie. And I that's mean, it. it literally could be some something so little as that. It's like in his head. And it's just like yeah, the other guys. Yeah, or like they're bouncing through the freaking multiverse, and there's a two second snippet of Andrew Garfield fighting someone, and that's it. Like, Which what does that exactly sound like? The trailer that just dropped. For end of the oh, Spider Verse across yeah, the right? that's the same thing that's happening. Isn't that crazy? He's flying through and like so many spider dudes are just like keep popping up. Do you know who that, that Spider Man guy he's fighting? That's Scarlet Spider, right? Spider Man it's I don't know, Spider Man twenty ninety nine or something, but it's uh his the voice is uh Oscar Isaac. Oh, okay. So that's cool. The guy that plays Poe in Star Wars. I have, Star do, Wars. I have to do a lot of research. It's all right. I'm sorry. Are, but, are, are you going to go see it, you think? Yeah, I got my ticket already. Nice. Yeah, I'm, I'm excited. I, the hype is in, like, the pop culture thing. I mean, that's what I'm excited for. Obviously, the content, but just, like, the whole buzz around it. I'm excited to, like, be a part of it. Yeah. Now, this this might be just because we're we're older now and can't remember things of the past, but do you think this is the most hyped movie ever? To date, I, I don't want to say that. I, like, I for was me, trying to think. For me, I'm it too is. young to. Yeah, I'd say for me personally, it is like there's no bigger hype for anything. Like no Star Wars movie, no Infinity War, no Endgame. Like this takes the the hype cake. There's only one movie that I can think of, but I, I don't don't remember. Go, go I think ahead. you know exactly what I'm gonna say. I want to see if Avatar. That's not that's a good one, but I was gonna say. Star Wars when episode Star Wars one, came back. the one that came out when we were kids, the first one back. Yes. I bet I think that was probably one of the biggest hype movies at, like ever. Do you know my favorite part so far of the hype about this movie is is like a smaller portion is just like the Twitter memes. The one. Yeah. <laughs> that are like, hide like a ticket and the, the, he's like cashier. What movie you're seeing? And it turns. He's like in the wrestling suit. The yeah. Yeah. The yeah. First movie. He's just dressed as <laughs> the... like, what movie do you think I'm going to? Dude. Yeah. Dude, know, people are that. trying to catch Andrew Garfield so hard in these interviews because he he's like getting the shit end of the stick because he has a new movie that just dropped mm-hmm. on Netflix. Oh, man. So he's doing press for that yeah, movie. he's on a press tour. And every single person's like, are you playing Spider-Man? And, and, he's, and there was one where, you ever seen the videos where they, they like read, it's like the top Google searches about someone? Yeah, I've seen those and interviews. Yeah, I saw they that. They pulled it off and, and he started talking and he was just like, you almost got me, <laughs> but he said no, and it's like, dude, you shouldn't have said you yeah. almost got me because you basically just said right there, yeah. fucking spidey guy. That's it. People get so rattled and they just get tired <laughs> of hearing stuff. That's like the guy who made the Sopranos. Like so many people ask him about like the ending or different, and he's finally like, you know what? Fuck it. No, that's not what happened. You're all wrong. Did you watch? So are you? Were you a big Sopranos guy? Yeah, I've seen it. I've seen it all the way through once. And did, then did you watch that new Many Saints? A new yeah, was it good? 
Yeah, it was good. I liked it a lot. Like I've said before, like there was parts that were like irritating. And so the the main gripe about that movie real fast is there is a scene in The Sopranos where like they do flashbacks. So obviously it's different actors now because it was like in the early 90s. But they did like the exact scene from the show. It's like they did it over again with different actors, which is weird first, but they like changed stuff. Like they changed little things yeah. and like, like say he like he rode home on a bus. I forget the exact thing, but say like he walked home instead. It's like why would you fucking yeah, even do change that? It, it doesn't yeah. make any and sense. And why wouldn't they just take the scene from Sopranos and put right. it in there? Well, because it's all. It would be weird to have like a different young Tony. Gotcha. That looks totally different than uh, James Gandolfini's son. That well, is his real son, right? Yeah, so he plays like a teenage. There was a different one for like the younger Tony. Like there's two timelines, but the teenage Tony is played by his son. So cool. Which is awesome. Yeah, it is really cool. Now, I, I was, I don't really know anything about The Sopranos, and I'm just asking out of curiosity because it could sway me to maybe eventually watch it. Yeah. Did this seem like a movie to you, or did this seem like a long pilot episode for a new series that they're going to start? So it seemed like a movie, um, but who knows? Like, they very easily could. It's just really up to... Because the creator was, like, a producer on this. Gotcha. Like, what was cool, but it's it's probably up to him. I would love to see more with young Gandolfini, because... He looks just like him. So cool. So it's really cool. But, I mean, you know how hardcore fans are. Obviously, you guys are huge Marvel guys. Like, some people are saying it's, like, the worst piece of cinema see, ever. And then other people dude, are like, it's, it's yeah. awesome. See, I've come to the realization, I just see everything across the board. Like, hardcore gamers, hardcore Marvel people, hardcore Star Wars. The new shit never lives up to the hype. No. It never, ever does. Everyone's, yeah. Because, like, I see it with video game stuff. Like, everyone's bitching it. When a new game comes out, everyone's all pumped, and then it comes out, and they're like, oh, it's not. It's it's so fucking stupid. sucks. <laughs> but it's like that. I'm like, man, I think I do. I think we overhype everything, and then it For never sure. lives up to our own standards. Like, I was even about to say, I figure myself out about shows. Like, I, lo- I like binging way better. Like, watching it when I can watch the whole season at once. Yeah. Because I, I binged Game of Thrones, and then I watched season eight as it was on TV. I did the same thing. And I'm like, oh, I fucking hate this. This is so bad. And I binged the first three seasons of Yellowstone, and I'm like, this is great. And for some reason, season four is really? just not doing it for I, me I'd right like now. to report that I started Yellowstone. It's great. Yeah. And oh, I'm you almost will, done with the first you season. You will not, yeah. It's, I it's, like it a lot. It's so good. But you're right. that Like, there's a different hype when... You can't immediately watch the next yeah. episode. And I th- yeah, I think which, it's definitely a mind which, game. Which I've talked about before. Like, I like it because there's so much more hype. Like, I like that community of we're all going to watch the episode and then everyone's going to talk about it that night. Mm-hmm. But you're right. At the same time, it sucks because, again, the hype is like a, it's a negative as well. Yeah. yeah. There, there is something to be said about that, though, because I, I can agree with both of you. And I, I know this is like a stupid comparison, but I learned my lesson of not getting too hype not even from game of thrones from the fucking fast and furious movies oh God. yeah I'm like, sure. like i i learned like after fast five came out i put all these movies on such a high so pedestal I, yeah. to where nobody could even touch it and luckily like i kind of feel the same about the new season of yellowstone but i also think they're doing a lot more in the background that's, trying to set up they different are. things. That, that's what that's what's happening they're, so, Good. Is that series? Is there a separate series out now, or is it? It like started. Coming? It comes out December nineteenth. Oh, uh, okay. Which gotcha. that's that's coming in the works, and then I I'm with Jake. I also think like this season is trying to set up another show too. Like you have a new show coming out already, but I also think this Yellowstone season is setting up a whole other show that's going to happen. It, it's honestly kind of like Taylor Sheridan and those guys are creating like a, a universe yeah. sort of, which is awesome. It yeah. is awesome. And it's so where, where are you at right now? What's the last thing you saw? Um, It's going to take it. So everybody's having health problems, right? The cancer yeah. just came out and then um, Casey's wife just got oh, shit, yeah. slugged in the face. Yeah. And she's, yeah. 
just in the hospital now. But other than that, like they're the Casey's kind of living at home, but kind of not. And yeah. it's kind of like that whole drama. Yeah, I'm I'm one season four is done. I'm gonna rewatch it all through from season, one to four. Season one is jam packed. But they're just starting, like, you know, all going into politics. All like like before that's kind of like a setup and now they're all going their separate ways and okay. I can see where, you know, all the characters are starting to come out. She gets punched by that kid at school, right? Yeah. Yes. Okay. That's what I thought. That's dude, what I that thought. shit, yeah. I love that shit. Well, dude, spe- speaking of like I mean, this isn't gonna be a big topic, but I saw of like universes of shows, did you see that HBO spent thirty million dollars on that Game of Thrones spin off the the last march or whatever that got canceled? 30, no. 30 million dollars they shot the pilot and there's a pilot and they just ended up canceling that show which one um I, I i think it was called i think it was literally called the last night or the last walk or so, something i'm pretty sure it was supposed to be about the uh the white walkers oh really and and i i guess they damn which is crazy i mean i knew they did that with shows like you shoot the pilot and things like that, but I never would have imagined you would have to sink thirty million dollars into uh, just yeah, one that's, episode. That's wild. I mean, that's really throwing it out there. I know. I, I mean, uh, that's I don't disappointing know. though, because I feel like that would be like, well, I don't know. I that's hard to write a show around. I but agree. It, I think it'd be cool. I, I where does the story go? I guess the history, but I don't know. I get nervous. I'm very excited for this new show. But the Targaryen one. Yeah, I get nervous though because it's like, when is it too much? Exactly. You know what I mean? Like when when do you stop milking the cow? Yeah, it's that's what I was thinking with Fast and Furious. It's kind of like a parabola, right? Like Fast Five seems like it was up here, it's at the peak, but at some point that's always going to go down, and it's never. And once you go down, you're never going back up, uh, dude. It's that name is just tarnished. That's it's serious. so true, man. Like. I, of of course, I will be seeing Fast Ten opening <laughs> night. Like I'm not gonna act like I'm not going to, but it 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 would be very hard to even get it to even get it back to like a Fast Six level. Yeah, like what, I think that's the last one I saw it was six. I'm well, pretty sure. So I, I basically seven is atrocious. Is which one does Paul Walker die? Seven. Okay. So yeah, yeah, I've never seen that one. Seven is absolutely god awful. <laughs> Eight, yeah, it does. eight is better than seven, but that's not saying much yeah. because seven's so bad. And then nine is just like not not even on the rating. Yeah. When it started to get ridiculous <laughs> was seven is when Vin Diesel would literally full speed drive his car <laughs> head on into another car like it was some kind of duel or something. I'm like, what is happening? What flies out and punches somebody? Yeah, like and the and then the and then Vin Diesel. They're standing on top of a parking garage, and Vin Diesel like punches the ground, and the parking garage breaks in half or some stupid shit. Yeah, it's I'm like, like what is it, happening? It's like they forgot that they weren't a superhero. Yeah, franchise. dude. Li- no, li- well, that's what it's becoming. No, literally, that's exactly what happened. Like. They're like superheroes now. They're like, these movies make a lot of money, and we've already kind of tarnished the name. Why not go total box office? Because there's some, like, like the the early ones, like, there's some, like, real, like, deep shit in them. Like, well, I, the first three, four, the first four, I would five, even Fast Five. Like, there's a lot of good, like, heavy stuff in it other than just racing. It's like, man, these are good movies, and then they just all went to shit. I remember seeing the... The earlier ones with like friends that were really into like <laughs> racing and that like that sphere and like I the the one that was called the Fast and the Furious what was that was that the third one the f- the fourth or one fourth one the, Tokyo Drift was the third right? yeah the, I love that one you're I, mean, I love it too but I had a friend that I saw it with was like oh that's so fucking unrealistic you know like yeah. they're so, it's like what do they think now like, yeah no it's I funny lo- how far I love they've gone. that one that one was so it's good. A, yeah, and I, uh, dude, I think that one just came out of the clouds too. Yeah, definitely. Because I think Tokyo Drift was two thousand and three, and then it was I, definitely a lot later. Yeah, and I'm pretty sure that one was two thousand nine. Yeah, yeah. I honestly think the story was gonna be done. I thought they were gonna be done. Like I thought Tokyo Drift was kind of the end. Me too. And then I think they thought, man, we could probably do a lot more with it. Well, I just thought of this. We're jumping all over the place. That's but all right. Still I'm on having topic. a good time. Tom Holland admitted that he knows 
that Spider-Man and Peter Parker knows who bought Stark Tower in this new movie, which is Reed Richards, Mr. Fantastic. Yeah. Or I want to say I, I could, could be, be Norman Osborn. Well, and I, I does it, I think Kingpin has it at one point too. Yeah, I don't know. See, like that could I don't know that, but yeah, like there's so much shit like that happening. Yeah, so much shit's just running through my head, and it's, I know it's it's all. I would be lying if I said it's it's all I've thought about since that <laughs> second trailer came out. Yeah. Dude, yeah, this month went by real fast. Though I was like, oh man, we gotta wait another month. Now it's. Can we really do like chili dogs and like camp out in the uh, Did, parking lot? Have a couple beers before. Do we we plan on getting there at like yeah, f- no later than five. Dude, yeah, I want to get there early. Like, Maybe let's just get there by five. I literally yeah. am down because pa- part of me thinks that they won't let us in the theater yet. But if we can walk in and say like, what time? Oh, can we be go? Open? Oh, no, yeah, not like that specific theater, but yeah, yeah, yeah. definitely go the chill. But no matter what, like <laughs> depending on how if it's mad in there, like madness. I want to do the. Fu- I'm doing the full movie theater experience. Like I want to get popcorn. I want to get a sprite. Like I- I'm ready. Like the nostalgia. What oh, are the big cokes? I yeah, can't. nothing is better than a theater coke. I always get McDonald's a McDonald's but... is close, but a nice theater coke. Uh, yeah, I always get a sprite. At and the Saint C's system changed the game. Now they have like the Five Guys machine. They where do. You walk ha- up. Oh, I forgot wow. they do have that. Yeah. Experiment with it. Yeah, for sure. A nice big popcorn. Yeah. And then like, I was I'm thinking ready. while I was driving today. I mean, there's literally no chance of it happening. But how crazy would it be if some again, no chance, but somehow, some way, like that St. Clairsville theater and showing was the one where one of them were at watching it with people, bro. Because because <laughs> they they. They do that, like yeah. in all kinds of movies. They'll just go to random ass places, That's and sweet. the actors and actresses will just be sitting in there watching the actual show. So That's that would awesome. be fucking dope. Are you is, are you guys dressing up at all? Like no Spider Man t shirt. No, yeah, oh, yeah, I have a t shirt. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. I bought a new t shirt. It's it's very vintage looking. I'm very excited. I was even looking on Amazon. I kind of want to get a hoodie too, because the movie theaters are always cold. And it's like, man, if I'm cold, I can't show off my T-shirt. I got to have a hoodie on, too. Isn't that something that's not addressed enough is theater temperatures? Because I'm always cold in the movie But theater. see, the last couple times I've gone, I've made sure to dress for cold, and it gets so fucking hot. You know what there. they should do? It should be like a, like a clicker, like in college. Everybody has, like, on their phone, and, like, they take the average. Like, everybody votes. Yeah. Or, or... Have two showings where you're like, okay, this is going to be the cold theater showing. <laughs> and then this this theater is going to be the warm theater. Yeah. I, well, I, I know they have these, some, like, a little bit around the world, but, like, why can't we get some beer at, at a movie theater? Yeah, like, really, why can't I, I just agree. get a, a a big cup of beer with my popcorn? You, like, dude, just stuff some in your pants. No, no, I know that, but you know what I mean. No, like, I why? Why? Why don't they do that yet? Yeah, I don't know. I, I mean, I've never... you don't want us to have fun. Yeah, yeah it's like, come movie, on, man. Why. We're trying to make it an experience, man. I've never even been to one where you can actually order food. To me either. You can... What do you mean? There's, like, like, theaters that you go to and, like, you, you order, like, dinner. Like, they serve food and then they come Whoa. and bring you probably the food. Probably, like, IMAX. I'd yeah. probably. Whoa. Or somewhere not in West Virginia. In Ohio. Yeah, somewhere not in, not in the tri-state area. Yeah. Folk. Somewhere not in St. Clairsville, Ohio. That's facts. Yeah, what's that pizza place in the mall? That's my version. Fa- Fabio's. Yeah, Fabio's. <laughs> Fabio's. Dude, yes. That reminds my me. version is trying to sneak a Fabio slice dude, in. Dude, yeah. Like, I remember when I was working at GNC, I was the only one working at the time. I called Fabio's, and I was like, hey, it's JT at GNC. Can you just bring me a pizza? Like, <laughs> I'll pay for it, but I can't come get it. Yeah. Will you just walk it over is, to is me? Is it, like, next door? Yeah. And they were like, yeah, it was yeah, pretty sweet. We're talking sweet. about that authentic Italian Sabaros. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, shit. Dude, I, that's, I haven't had a Fabio slice in a minute. It's been a long time. It's very good. Is, is, that, is, is that like a chain Bro, or is that like just like a... I don't think so. I don't think so either. Bubba, you just like sparked an idea. What's maybe that? we need to get... Maybe that's what we need to do before the movie. Like when we're super early, walk down to Fabio's. So we used to do in grade school. Walk down to Fabio's walk and get a quick walk slice. Into Spencer's, get all their weird Bro. t-shirts. Sam Goodies. <laughs> possi- I mean, Sam, Sam Goodies was a nice story. Yeah. Hell yeah, get a CD or two. The possibilities are endless 
that co- that card store blows my mind. I went in there recently, not recently, a few months ago. The dude has like I'm. This is not an exaggeration. Like this dude easily has like a million dollars worth of cards in his store. That's crazy. is it still there? It's the same one. It's he Young had a man. truck of a truck a cart thing. He has an actual whole store now in the mall, and it's big. And yeah, it's still there. He's got. I, my mind was blown. Like I was overwhelmed at how many cards this dude had. He had unopened packs in his glass of the like base set Pokemon, like the first set to Damn, come what out. What those go for? Oh, I don't know what a pack would be. I mean, thousands and thousands. Right. Oh my god! And that's just one pack. Yeah, that's that's got to be a hell of a hobby to have. Just being like, dude, this is what I do for a living. I buy yeah. cards and sell these cards. Sweet. It is fucking sweet. It's sweet and lame at the same time. Yeah, it, it is kind of yeah. nerdy. Like you couldn't really tell a girl on the, like I'd sell cards for a living. Uh, yeah. but you, uh, could t- you can might s- you may be able to s- to spin zone it and make it sound cool. I don't know. Yeah, you're just like a fucking billionaire walking around, and she's like, "What do you do for a living?" And you're just like, "Um, I sell Pokemon cards." I'm a global antiquities yeah. dealer. <laughs> oh fuck! <laughs> but, but Did how- you guys see? There was a guy. I don't know his name. He was keeping track. He was going to tweet every update of the uh, Ghislaine Maxwell. Oh, no. Which he was. Did he get yawped? It got suspended. His, oh, his account did. Oh, my God. Did, did like... For, it, like, f- misleading? Because no. Because of that or because... Because I guess they just don't want us common folk to know what's happening. Like, he was literally just giving updates on uh, what was I happening. I kind of under... Okay. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, I mean, they, uh, it's fishy, but I kind of understand in a court sense. I know, but still, it's like but do they can have? document, like, make it a whole freaking scene and event with this Kyle Rittenhouse dude yeah. who nobody gives a fuck about. Fuck Kyle but Rittenhouse. When, Sorry. Yeah, he's a, I, I don't he's get, a loser. No, okay. If you're watching if now, you, he's a loser. If you said it, like, here's, here's my thing on him, Kyle Rittenhouse. I'm not even saying, like, I'm not even saying, like, all like fuck him, he's guilty and all this shit. No, not at all. I'm this saying, is aside from the trial. I'm saying I can't understand why he has like fans. Yeah. It's you, so weird. You to me. can be on the side that like, okay, I understand like the dealings of the prosecution and the defense. Yeah. And yes, he like they went to the uh self defense route and he was found not guilty. And you can be on the side that like I understand that and also be on the side that like He's a loser. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Are you are you guys talking about that kid that hates LeBron and loves big asses and titties? <laughs> yeah, big titties. Yeah. Did you see the clip? He's like, I always have people reaching out to me like, hey, something. He's like, uh, so many mid Midwest moms want to yeah. take your virginity, and he goes, Patriotic well, milfs. too late. Yeah, fuck you, dude. I'm like, shut up, dude. But that—that's. And then I forget he's 18, and it's like, well, he's a child. It's just how stupid this fucking country is. Because like, we made murderer ass Carol Baskins a celebrity. She was on Dancing with the Stars. (laughs) Like what? I never put that in, but yeah, that's awful. (laughs) I mean, like we anybody just sees someone and they're like, oh, I fucking love this dude, and now all of a sudden, like 20 years from now, he'll probably be like a best selling author just because he got. Yeah, right. Ex- exposed on TV or whatever you want to call yeah. it. But did you hear what I was saying about the Ghislaine Maxwell thing? I heard you say that the thread there was, got suspended. Yeah, like some guy made a whole Twitter like updating the world on what's happening because it's so hush hush. His account got suspended. It's so <laughs> trash, and I'm honestly happy you said that because I saw something and I even reposted it to my story, um, and I, I saw it through Rogan, I think, but it's like. Instagram implemented something in the settings to where automatically every single person has the setting turned on where it says, keep sensitive things off my timeline. Uh, is that, I was wondering, yeah, how they would get around stuff like that. And what's weird is like, what are sensitive posts and topics? Like, why do they get to decide right. what's sensitive for Absolutely. everybody? And I was thinking like, I, I didn't know if it was different high profile, like they censor it for like security reasons. But I remember when I was young, we used to have court TV. Did anybody used to watch that? I watched Judge Judy. See, I only know about it because my mom was like addicted to it. And they would literally play like they had a camera in the court 
with like high profile cases. My mom would watch it all day. I mean, dude, which is wild. That, is, that's that's yeah. how far we've got. You got yeah. to see everything. Like yeah. if there was no, you got to see only the interrogation. Like you saw the entire process. Yeah, that is crazy. That's pretty truthfully. cool. I wish that was still a thing. Yeah, I wish I could be watching the the her trial because I, she told me when I was like, um, I don't know if it was when I was just born or when I was like about to be born. It was the OJ trial. Okay, and she just watched it entire Dude, that's OJ wild. trial. Imagine Labor. watching that like live. No, I, I, the last big trial I remember being on TV was the Michael Jackson trial. I think. Whoa. He, I believe he was on well, tri- the chick that. Uh, Killed her kid. Casey Anthony. Kate, yeah, that, right. that's the last big one I remember. Hey, that's another thing. Michael Jackson, like, yeah. He, one of the one of the most influential musicians of all time. But, like, people are forgetting, like, he f- fucked around with well, p- little children. Well, that's what I was just... Yeah, I, people, like, all the like, time. Like, what? But, like, with OJ, too. OJ's on Twitter. He's like, hello, Twitter. For, like, fuck you. Yeah, like, he's what are like, we he talking tweets, about? He Everyone, tweets, like, is, like, interacting with OJ. Like, he, fuck OJ. He fucking tweets, he's like, I'm afraid to go back into L.A. because I think the killer is going to get me. I might run into the real killer. Yeah, yeah, like, what are you talking dude, about, yeah, dude? yeah, it's like, what is happening right now? Like, dude, not right now, I just mean in general. Like, my, there are people, like, I just see on th- everything, like, people just sticking up for Michael Jackson what he does did and stuff. I'm like, yeah. bro, I'm like, what are we doing? I know we'll never, ever, 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 ever know, but I really want to know if he fadiddled Macaulay Culkin. Yeah. Probably he, look how he, fucked up yeah. Macaulay Culkin's well, he, life has yeah. been. He, he denies no, it. They slept in the same bed, didn't they? Yeah, he slept in the same bed with all these kids. Yeah, it's no, it's a it's a no go. Yeah, me. and it, <laughs> it it's like what what was it? it what was his ranch, the wonder uh, Neverland Wonderland Ranch, Neverland. I think, yeah. and it's like it's no different than fucking Epstein Island, in my opinion. I just don't, I don't know. Where would it, the world was just different, different time, man. Different. People were just molesting everyone back in my day. I remember, remember the live shot of him just like putting his kid over the banister, yeah, because he was like excited and wanted to show everybody his son, so he just like put a blanket over his face and. Hung him over the fifth story balcony. Oh my dude, god, dude! I forgot about that picture because <laughs> I remember that like being on TV. Like it was a new. Oh, here's oh, what is he doing? Yeah, yeah. Get the kid, <laughs> get the kid on the balcony yeah. right now, sir. Please. I'm gonna try to look it up real quick. What a shame. Yeah, but uh, I don't know. I it doesn't shock me about the Galane thing. And if I'm being honest with you, it's like. I, I mean, I knew she was on trial, but I just forgot about her. It's like h- how quick things. It's not new, yeah. 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 Is that it? That's yeah. it. <laughs> yeah. What the fuck? It's like how, how quick things just fly by. It's like she was such a big story for so long. And then it's just like, all right, yeah, we're just never going to talk about her again. Yeah. Well, that's America, too. We'd much rather talk about fucking whoever the freak is this week. No, we. we Whatever de- stupid celebrity. We deadass would much rather talk about Tristan Thompson's side piece that just got pregnant while he was dating Khloe Kardashian yeah. than fucking Ghislaine Maxwell's trial of them raping and f- doing everything to all these underage kids because that's, that's something that we don't need to talk about. Yeah. Like Dumb. I, Dumb. I, I don't get it either. I just want to watch it, but we can't. Me too. Can't even talk about it. You just get suspended. But how how was your guys' weeks? Fly by good? Anything oh, exciting? Yeah. Good. We we went to the Steelers game on Sunday. How it was, was a blast. That? Honestly, overall great day from start to finish. I had a really good time. I was like, you know what? I'm not even really I'm not even a Steelers fan, but I will be right now, you know? All my friends are Steelers fans. I'm in the atmosphere. I'm just here to freaking have a good time. What am I going to do? Not cheer for the Steelers when they score and everyone's <laughs> jumping up and down? It was a great That's time. how I get, too, though. I mean, when I go to Steelers yeah. games and they're not playing the Broncos, I root for the Steelers. Why it's, not? A, it's a different world. Like, in the NFL, especially somewhere like Pittsburgh, where diehard fans for decades, it's a different world. Dude, you looked, You guys looked like you were vibing we, at Stage dude, A. we were. Vibing, yeah. This little live band, the, these old men, no one's rooting them on before we got there. I'm like, come on. These guys are up here giving it their all. So we, like, just we us. start our own little crowd circle, and then more people follow us up. And we were just just playing, vibing. Playing some old classic yeah. rock. The funniest thing was he finished a song, and Gage was <laughs> like, all right, let's play some CCR. And immediately guy goes, our next one is from the band. 
CCR. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's it was awesome. wild. Everyone went crazy. <coughs> no, but that, that that is one thing that's got to be fun about like people that live in the city yeah. or around yeah. the city, a- anywhere, like any of those big NFL cities, because you just kind of already know every employer and company and corporation knows that on Monday, everybody's going to be <laughs> rough. <laughs> Definitely. Like nobody's going to want to do shit. Yeah. Uh, I was thinking that on the way up, like, this would be cool to, like, I'm not saying live close like we do. I mean, literally just live in the town where the pro team is. You all just get up and know what's going on. You're going to go meet wherever, even if you're not going in the game. Like, it was pretty awesome. I mean, I, I just, I had the greatest time, except for one portion. One small portion of the game was okay. really shitty. Now I can explain. Yeah. So <laughs> I went to the concession stand like right about when the second quarter is about to end because I wanted to get there before the crowd. And I didn't come back till <laughs> end of the third quarter, <laughs> like not even like a minute or two. Like it was like five, ten minutes and not that long, like five minutes into the third quarter. So I stood in line for like 50 minutes. Jesus. That's rough. Yeah. Yeah. What well, was what you stood in line for at least good? No, not at all. But <laughs> so, so, so while I was in line, I met a friend, like an old guy. Me nice. and were just vibing in the line. Uh, I, I saw a Big Ben touchdown pass from the small TV at the concession stand. Uh, I got alpha in line. What? And I'm like kind of a bitch. So I was like, all right. So, well, not really. So I kind of cut. There was two lines. And me and my friend are talking about how the line is like the guy up front must be like freaking out because it's not moving at all. And I was like kind of in the middle, right? So I made the executive decision to just move into the other line. Okay. But I was in my same space, but I kind of cut at the same time. So like five minutes later, the guy behind me was like, are you with those guys in front of you? I was like, no. He's like, well, then I'm behind those guys in front of you. No. I was like, okay, sir. <laughs> Dude, but again, it's like you really can't. I mean, listen, I know if you would have just walked up and just cut line, that's one yeah. thing. But he obviously knew that you were standing. By, by like exact verbiage was, okay, sir, I don't fucking care. Yeah. <laughs> like I've been here for 30 fucking minutes. Like I care. But oh, and the most like crazy, I saw a fist fight too, which was great. Oh, damn, really? Something I will <laughs> never understand. Was it over the line, too? I don't know. It was two Steeler. Fr- they were up front. I don't know what they were so pissed off about. Two Steelers fans, but just, like, fucking deck the guy right at the face. Like, it's, it, it's funny when you see <laughs> fights of opposing teams, but I never understand yeah. the same same team brawl. <laughs> like, yeah, like, what, what are you mad about? Like, I, I uh, went to the WVU game last night. Shout out the win against UConn. That oh, was that's fine. awesome. Yeah, that was fucking sick. And <laughs> the two kids, adults, whoever they were, that were sitting next to me were just completely obnoxious. One guy, and it, you know, it's always the guy with the mullet. Like, it's like <laughs> when you see the mullet, you're like, this motherfucker's going to be right. Follow him, yeah, because there's yeah. going to be shit going down. Yeah, they're, they're just like, the brothers are, one brother's just trying to sit there, sitting next to me watching the game, and the other brother just keeps like screaming all this weird shit and way laying on the other brother, and the dad is just sitting next to doing oh nothing. Oh, God. Oh, God. Like, if, 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 even if that kid was. In his twenties, if I was that dad, I would have been like, "Chill the fuck out, dude." Yeah, yeah like we're at a goddamn a sporting dad event. Kick me and my brothers both our asses. Yeah, but it's probably people that like take offense on like me, like the same scenario when the guy said that, like me being like another guy, probably like I don't fucking think so. I'm yeah. standing here. Like, true. That's, <laughs> yeah. Let's fucking go for this space. Very true. No, that is very correct. But how? uh how cool was it seeing the missed two point conversion? Like, did that place just fall? Oh, it was lit. Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. It was nuts. So we were separated, but like, I was sitting like decently far up, but on that side. Like, okay. we were looking like right at. Oh, yeah. So, so screaming were screaming at Lamar, and then they missed. Yeah, it was great. Yeah. And we had Ravens fans in the row right behind us. They were all cool, but it was, it was still fun. Yeah. It was, but see, like, that. The nice, that's what sports are. The yeah. nice banter back and forth. But see, I, no, that, not a lot of that. I mean, there is some, but I, I can't imagine being in a place like that because there was definitely a lot of getting screamed at as well by the Ravens fans. Oh, dude, I, I mean, I've lived it. 
just being in there as a Broncos fan. Oh, yeah. I got pissed and fucking took some dude's terrible towel out of his hand because <laughs> he kept putting it in my face. And I oh, threw yeah. it. Oh, no. Nothing's I threw it. worse than those people. No, and it, it was some, like, I just, it was some typical, like, middle aged, <laughs> nerdy, rich guy. Oh, like, he was no. a rich guy who, like, you can tell, like, nothing ever happens to him because he's rich. And he was just waving the like I'm not touching you. But yeah, I'm like, and we was just waving it in, it in Jake's and, face. And we were we were literally like, no shit talk. Like every yeah. time the Broncos scored, me, JT, and my dad would get excited. And every time the Steelers scored, like they were pumped, and people would make like funny sly comments. And yeah. The, when they so of course, like they they start coming back at the end. Touchdown scored. The guy put puts it in my face the first time. I laugh it off. I'm like ha ha ha. Pittsburgh scores again. He does it a second time. I'm like, all right, like, ha, ha, ha. Like, this is funny. It was the third fucking time. I was like, dude, I let you do this yeah, twice. Th- there is a limit between, yeah. like, uh, okay, I'm a nice guy. I'm not going to make a big deal to, like, you got to respect yourself. Exactly. You can't seem like a bitch. Like, like he's, like, waving it in my face, and I literally, like, fucking yanked it out of yeah. his hand and threw it to the <laughs> bottom. I was like, fuck you. Yeah. But. Dude. I don't know. Sport, going to sporting events are fun, dude. And I, I was sitting behind. There was like this little kid who probably had to be seven, eight or nine, like somewhere in that range, dude. And he was just fucking cheering his ass off, like had all the That's cheers awesome. down pat, was clapping with his fingers. And I'm like, dude, this is what sports is about. Oh, yeah. yeah. No, it, w- it was really fun. And it was I. I went up to go get another beer, and I was like, I'm not waiting in these long-ass lines right here. Smart. So smart. I was like, I have to figure <laughs> something. I start before I, I was like, out. I have to figure something out. So I just, I just like, turned right. I have a dog hair in my mouth. I just turned right and just kept walking until I found, I was like, there's got to be a break somewhere. And then there's, like, this little, like, side thing by itself where there's nobody. And I'm looking, and it's all beers in it, but it's all, like, IPA beers. So I was like, I don't give a fuck. I'm buying these. I'm not waiting. I don't care how much they are. I hate waiting in lines. Uh, That's, like, my big thing in life is, like, I cannot yeah. stand to wait in I'm happy lines. I've become an IPA guy because, like, now, especially in those types of places, you only need one or two to get the job done. I didn't even drink one beer in the stadium, which is very unlike me. Damn, but really? Damn. Yeah. We had such a good time before. Yeah, I just didn't. Where where'd you guys go before stage AE? So we went to McFadden's uh when we first got there and we ate and drank. Um and then we like went in the parking lot for a little while and then we just went to stage AE. Yeah. Right? I really was... like that McFadden's restaurant. Yeah, it's fun. Except it's expensive. Really? Like you know, we were there early too. If like if you're there like right before or I've watched a the game there too, like it's really fun. They have like a DJ there and stuff. Yeah, I really like it. Like, I could see me going there if it was, like, that's where I'd want to go, I feel like, if I lived there. Yeah. It was just a really cool, big sports bar, well, like, I, really I, nice looking on the inside. I've definitely dropped 100 bucks there before. Oh, yeah. I In mean, a couple it, hours. It's, it's, it is expensive. Yeah, like, we had our group check. I guess it makes it easier on them. It was fucking $500. That's lit. Yeah. I you was guys like, are oh, having a good ass time. I was time. like, oh, folk. So, what, did you guys just split it down the middle? No, because... We were there. We were longer. going to, <laughs> and then some people didn't like that idea. I was like, F- "I don't give a fuck," and I just sent like Lauren like one hundred and fifteen dollars. I was like, "Here, yeah, like I, this is enough I think for I me." Spent more than yeah, but my, like when we we were talking about splitting it, like my, I spent that much anyway. But I understand where some people were like, "I had two beers." I'm not. Well, paying yeah, that I mean, I get money. that. Yeah. yeah. No, fuck that, dude. I'm gonna be the one that says fuck that, bro. <laughs> like if if you're literally going because you guys had a, a lot of lot of people with you. Yeah. And dude, if it's 500 bucks, you split it between that many people, bro. Who but fucking cares? I understand, but if you bought like two $5 beers, like you don't really want to pay 40 some dollars, you know what I mean? Yeah, but I get but like dude, if you're only going to drink two $5 <laughs> beers, who's but, problem but, but I'm not the guy. <laughs> I usually yeah, I, I'm the one that usually works out for it. Like it's like I for me, did. I would have just like if anybody, I would have just been like I'll pay for the whole fucking thing. Yeah. I don't care, dude. Like just shut the fuck yeah, up. Yeah, it's like, send me fucking money. Just, I don't, we're not going to sit here and dissect this yeah. check. Let's just pay it and leave. Yeah. Fuck. He, and I don't even know who this person is, but that's your fault. If you're going to go to McFadden's and only drink two beers, fuck you then. <laughs> like, you're, you're there to get lit, bro. If you're going to go, if you're going to go with the goddamn group, dude, was, fucking pay. Pay the slice and someone will get you back. 
That's how life works. Yeah. The uh, they had a nice chicken buffalo chicken wrap as well. You can't go wrong with a nice buffalo chicken wrap. If I if so like that, if I've never been somewhere, and they have a buffalo chicken wrap on their menu, like that's what I'm getting. I think every single time I go somewhere. Yeah, I'm I'm pretty much the same way. I always end up looking for the same types of things. I'm like, oh, buffalo chicken wrap, nice. Definitely. Rarely, they're they're rarely not good. Especially like I like Rubens too. I was gonna say I I'm there with like a, a classic sandwich, like a Reuben or like a. Like the uh, National Hot uh, Sandwich. Yeah. Was that good? Was that fire there? It was good. Yeah. Well, I got it today, too. Yeah. The Generations. I got it. You can't beat a night. Dude, hot chicken sandwich, man. Like, you can't. It's hard to top. It's very delicious. Yeah, me and Matthew went to Longhorn Steakhouse for lunch, and I swear that's like the maybe first or second time I've been in there, and I got this, like, uh, pepper steak salad thing. That sounds good. It's fucking bangs. Dang, I feel bad for you. Was it a miserable lunch sitting with Matthew? No, no. <laughs> Just we, kidding. Shout out Matthew. Love no. you. We we were talking about everything. Life and shit. Just yeah. life shit. Boy talk. I Hell feel yeah. it. It's nice. nice Chopping it up. Conversation. Fuck yeah. He almost got crushed though, because we we were gonna go to Cheddar's first and we walked in. And they're like, it's going to be a 30 minute wait. And we're like, no, it's not. And we just laughed. Yeah. <laughs> See, like that. Yeah. Same thing. 15, I'd be like, 20 is my I'd limit. be like, no, <laughs> I'm not waiting a half hour. Like, I don't care. And Matt, <laughs> Matthew comes <laughs> pulling out of the park. You guys know how it is in Morgantown. That, yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. That University bad. Town Center whole thing is a mess. He comes pulling out because the truck coming down has his blinker on because he meant to go to the Longhorn. And like oh, Matt, no. Matthew just starts pulling out, and this guy like just like slams on his brakes. But shout out to him; he actually apologized to Matthew and Longhorn. Oh, well. I was gonna say I, I just said I wouldn't wait over twenty minutes for food, but I stood in yeah, line. Just wait for fifty <laughs> for fifty five <laughs> minutes for a foot long hot dog, fries, and nachos. Oh <laughs> fuck! At least you got the works. You got uh, you got the whole. You're like, if bad. I'm waiting an hour, I'm ordering <laughs> everything on the menu. I was looking for <laughs> chicken tendies, but like the hot dog, it was good. They put like peppers and onions on it, Ooh. so it was really good. But like structurally, it just fell apart. Oh. Like the bun couldn't deal with the foot long dog, so I ate like four bites, and that was it. The so, foot long dog. So were you guys all in the same section, but not by each other? No, no. I don't. Yeah, I, I don't know where they went. I was kind of. I drunk. thought that's what it was going to be, but I... I thought wasn't. we were together, but then I, I that's also, not what who happened. Did, did you... Was it just you and Angie? No, no, no. Me, Angie, Chance, Gage, and then Lauren and Maria, which oh. it was... We had it was we had fun. It was a nice little group. We had a good time. Nice. The fuck was I about to say about food? God dang it. Uh, uh, fuck. Food is tight. Oh, I remember now. Yeah, so we got home, and I was, like, drunk, and I was like, oh, man, I'm hungry. I forgot we had like three boxes of leftover fusion in the fridge. Oh, oh. nothing's better. And I was like, dude, fuck yeah. You, I bet you ate it all. Dude, I demolished. <laughs> it was that awesome. That sounds so good. Dude, it was. Oh, yeah. I, I ended up getting food once I got back from the game last night. It, uh, it's some place that I never really ever heard of until DoorDash when I'd stayed on their scores. I, I've why, never been there. That name sounds familiar. I've, I've had takeout from there before. It's pretty good. Yeah, it is good. It's good bar food. Yeah, I, I've I've eaten there like twice, but dude, I got a quesadilla last night. Something about a good quesadilla just literally just it, it, wait, is that the one in Westover? I think so. Yeah, yeah, that's, yeah. yeah. I th- I've never been there, but I think I know what you're it's talking. It's like about. across the street from that smoker friendly yeah. and. Uh, food something see i'm not like a quesadilla guy i'm just not a quesadilla I love guy quesadillas too. That's, i mean that's fine but you're the one messing out not us i i prefer like if i'm getting like mexican food i for some reason i like having my array of choices and then they give me aluminum foil with like four of my own tortillas and yeah. i just put it all together yeah for yeah. some reason that just hits even though like i know this is gonna sound so stupid but Growing up, like, we never really went to Mexican a lot, so the quote-unquote only Mexican food we ever would eat is quesadillas, and I don't, like, consider it Mexican food, even though it is, Yeah, because you'd be able to get that anywhere around here, but there you would never be able to get, like, burritos or tacos, so right. I just see quesadillas as, like, a normal American food, even though it's obviously Mexican. Yeah, that was my TJ's meal as a kid. 
boys got the case to do. Dude, I haven't been to TJ's in a while, bro. It'd be fun to go watch games there. They do have a yeah. legit, like, sick game type setup for sure. Definitely. Like watching the tourney there would be lit, probably. No, I'm they definitely have a do, they definitely have a great setup in there. But yeah. it's just like, I think it's one of those things we're just so used to it that it being there that we just don't go, and their food is not very good. Yeah, their food sucks, <laughs> bro. It's such a bummer. Yeah. So what do we think of the WVU basketball team? I mean, truthfully, I, I think uh, I was, okay, so first, very pissed off that they can't hit free throws. Oh, but just God. like Brady said, some things never change. Yeah, it's a same old song and dance. We there. should be used to this. What is that? What is that? I don't know, dude. And I, I was can't li- figure it out. I was literally sitting up there. To, I told Brady, I was like, the free throw coach needs to be fired tomorrow. Yeah, like what is happening? It's every single year. It's every year. Like, what do they do? Like, I just, I don't understand it. The last time Hugs fired a free throw coach midseason, we went to the Final Four. So f- I didn't know it. there was a coach. I thought that was kind of like a joke. Oh well, I, d- I didn't know there was a person that that's his job. Well, again, I didn't know I, that either. I don't know honest. for sure, but I know there's some kind of coach. Like, there's a free throw yeah, coach. That's, that's what you're doing. Yeah, yeah, because I I remember like they fired. That coach midseason, the year they went to the Final Four, because they couldn't hit free throws in the first half of the season, and all of a sudden they were just able to hit towards the yeah. end. So that was one big thing. Can't hit free throws. Taz is Taz is a magical basketball <laughs> bucket getter. Like that, I I don't think we've ever had a a a scorer like him as pure as that. Like Deshaun was good. Javon was good, but like Taz can literally create his own shot down low, mid, and three. Yeah. There's just a few things that I fear. Um, I don't know how long they can maintain having Sean and Taz. They played f- the whole entire game. Which I think, I, I don't, they don't do that all the time. No, they though. don't. I just mean last night in a big game, they needed them. I don't know how long that's going to, because if they're not in, it, I mean, last night's game. If they're not in that whole time, we don't win. And that, I and mean, the, that was the first game of the season, too, that they both were hitting. Yeah. That's the first game where they both and, were balling. And I'm nervous because, like, to me, like, there's not one leader, which we always, ha- when we're good, good, we always have, like, that one leader. I think there's a leader. Who? Gabe. Yeah, but like you know what I and mean. And I'm not even saying that jokingly. Like, no, I I I love Gabe. I I I think he's probably. You can just tell by how he plays. He's very animated, and I guarantee he he's the one that gets the guys lit up before games. Yeah, I guess I just mean you know a guy I, that I leads the that. offense. Offense like your Javon's, your your yeah. Deuce McBride's. Like we don't. I just don't. We don't really have one. A hundred percent. Like. And, and like, Sean and Taz are like a duo, which yeah. is fine, but yeah. you know what I mean. Yeah, but basically, I don't know. As much as I was getting frustrated about the free throws, I was very impressed of how they s- they still were able to pull that game out. Oh, yeah, I know, yeah, for I know sure. it was at home. Like, I get it, home court advantage, all that stuff. But the fact that they were still – because they went on a dark stretch there where they were winning like 38 to 33, and then all, just, all of a sudden we couldn't hit. We were just yeah. dropping the I, ball I, everywhere. I didn't watch the game. Um, I was jogging, but I was trying. Fuck yeah, <laughs> dude. Yeah, at least you're uh, – yeah. I was no. trying to uh, – I like stopped and kept trying to look, but it at least seemed to like me not watching like a typical W game that they would absolutely lose. Yeah. Like, oh, you agreed. got excited because they thought they were going to win, then agreed. they started playing bad. It's like they're going to lose. They're going to make it competitive and lose. Could agreed. not agree more. So I was very happy to see that they won. <laughs> and I'd be lying if I said I wasn't sitting there like, here we fucking go. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah I was too. Yeah. Everyone's throwing the ball around. I'm like – Dude, I wanted to freaking punch Kedrian Johnson because he dropped the ball like for no reason like three times in a row. And, and then, I was like, fucking God dang it. What if, I could not do any better, but like hold on to the freaking ball. What about the one towards the end where like I think we were winning or up or down by one point and Malik Curry has like the wide open lane and he dribbles in and the ball just flies dude. out of bounds. <laughs> I was like, what the what Dude, happened? and Malik Curry. They were, they were there was a stretch where everyone is just fumbling the ball around. Like Malik Curry too threw the ball away like three times. I knew the game was going to change though. 
I I can't I can't remember if it was Gabe or Polly Polly Cap, so I'm just gonna give Gabe credit because I'm a Gabe guy. When <laughs> when that I like that when that screen was set mid, which you didn't see this, but a screen was set mid court where he was perfectly set, and the fucking Yukon dude hit a brick wall, yeah, like uh-huh. crushed whoever it was and fell down, and the Coliseum went crazy, and I was like, all right, we're back, yeah, yeah. we're back. I think they both hit had they both had big screens. Yeah, yeah. I but I I'm a I'm very hopeful for WVU. I I think it's going to be like you said. It is going to be a long season though. I mean they're we're not going to be able to compete if Taz and Sean have to play every single minute of every single game. Yeah. But I think it was just one of those perfect mixtures where like Curry's been putting up points, Bridges has been putting up points. All these guys have been able to score, and they just weren't, and that's when our guys stepped up. So that was good to see. No, I agree. Yeah, I'm with you. But yep. I'm excited for the team. I, I'm excited. I think they're fun to watch, and obviously the newer guys, are they're only going to get better. 100%. So it's like. I'm, I miss going to games. I mean, totally different feel from football and, you know, everything else, but I love going to basketball games. Yeah. Me and JT were just talking about it. At, for me, it, I'm a football guy, but I I think going and watching WV basketball in the Coliseum out of everything's like my favorite. It was so chill. Just sit up high and chill out. Yell at the fuck. Yell at freaking Trey Young. Yeah. yeah. And yell at Javon Carter locking up Trey Young. There's no funner thing either than just going. Boo. Yeah, like booing is one of my favorite things to do. I, I think I tweet about it. Like the first couple of football games I went to, I was like, they like uh, our principal would not approve of this at Central. It's a totally different feel in the student section of college. They, they just scream whatever yeah. you want, <laughs> dude. Yeah, it, you, you chants are awesome. You go from like chanting like real nice things in high school to like just <laughs> ripping people for what they look like and stuff for yeah. no goddamn reason. Fuck yeah. But, but dude, uh, now that I think about this, I don't think I, in my college I in my college career I was in like the student section down down close to the floor. I I never I don't think I ever I never did that. I never sat down there, but see th- when I was there and I think it was like this, it might have switched my junior senior year, but you had to go like wait in line. Yeah. Oh yeah. And th- then they'd fill you up like <laughs> they'd fill you up. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh yeah, they did. Dude, and those tickets were free and you get filled up for free, but uh then they'd fill in like up higher. And that's where I always was. Me like, too. Cuz I I never ticket. got there early enough yeah. cuz people I, be there like at 8 a.m. for like a 9 o'clock game. I'm so appreciative. There was this girl that she was like our RA in Lincoln in college and like, so they had, like, a little group, and some of my friends that became RAs were friends with them. So, like, they would always get the football games super early, and that was her thing. Like, she had her spot, like, front row of the football games. And <laughs> I would show up, like, you know, the, the kickoffs, like, already happened, and I'm, like, you know, very drunk. She'd be like, oh, yeah, come on down. Oh, I'm so that's appreciative. Le- yeah, yeah, that's legit. Yeah, because they definitely did not have to be like that. Like, we've yeah. been here for three hours, and, you know, you obviously haven't been. I never sat lower level in a football game either. Really? I always was Oh, man. Level. Our last couple of years, that was, uh, we had to be lower level every single game. Like, yeah. I didn't want to go if I was an upper. How, how do you guys feel knowing that our bowl game's a Tuesday night at 10, 15 p.m.? Oh, really? I didn't know that. I'll be asleep. I mean, it's, yeah. I, I'm just being honest. I'll be asleep. I will, too. <laughs> it, I will be. <laughs> well, the, it's, such, it's such ass backwards logic because it's two teams. It's Minnesota and West Virginia that are right, playing the East. Yeah. Yeah, all the way on the West Coast at 10, 15. Yeah, I, I don't know. I don't know. I, I, was, I was pissed about that. But Minnesota fans are really upset because they're like, yeah, well, I know. well, it's such a downgrade playing WVU because they went eight and four. And they're like, it should have been Penn State who was seven and five. And I have a theory about this. I think the only reason why it wasn't Penn State is because we're playing them like in two years, and I doubt they'd want to set up a bowl game. They're going to want to wait to hold that. And that's just a complete conspiracy in my head because it doesn't make sense how Penn State's got a bigger bowl game than Minnesota does. Yeah. yeah, Dude, and you just blew my mind with that whole Penn State thing because I remember when that was announced, I was like, oh, man, we're going to be 
we're going to be dads, like, we're going to be adults. Because it was like, and they announced it when I was in college, and they were like 2023 20, or something, right? Yeah, same thing with Pitt. They used to, like, the, the one coffee shop, they had, like, a countdown. It was, like, 70, like, 500 and some days or whatever. We were, like, <laughs> we'll never, yeah. I, yeah, like, it, like, I remember they announced us playing Penn State in football, and it was, like, I was, like, well, this is in fucking six years. Like, I'm going to have a... I'm going to have a kid then. No, I'm I, like, I, wait a second. This is creeping up really we literally fast. literally talk about it, and we're like, we're going to be playing beer pong with kids Dude, strapped to our yeah, chests. Well, I'm and literally going to have one of they those still doing baby... Still the shit. Yeah. <laughs> I'm literally going to have one of those babies strapped to me. Like, um, and Then I'm like, well, that's in 2022 is in th- uh, three weeks. That is wild. What? That is wild, dude. I I feel like it's jumped from 2019 all the way to 2022. Oh, yeah. yeah, that's what I was gonna say. Like everyone says that, but like, how real is that? It's nuts. It is. It's nuts. scary, is what it is. Well, and and another thing that I was telling Brady last night, I'm like, dude, we literally play. We have a home and home with Alabama in five years. And I remember when that was announced, oh, like shit. six years ago. Yeah, and then it's like, oh, I'll be, we'll be ready by then. The program will, be, yeah. yeah, yeah, right. <laughs> Fuck. Yeah, <laughs> it'll be the same old <laughs> fucking shit. Uh, that'll be fucking wild. And then, dude, but how fucking sick would it be if that's like Saban's first game as WVU's coach? Whoa, <laughs> crazy. Yeah. He needs to do do that just for the hype. He needs to plan that out. He's like, "Oh, I'm gonna retire. I'm gonna I'm gonna retire back home." And then he's just our coach. Where is he from? Like in West Virginia? Does anyone know? Uh, dude, I do know. I I, I did know. I forget. Now. It's a small place. I literally knew. I gotta look it up. Yeah, look it up. Cause it's uh, it it's it's a very 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 small like town in West Virginia. Yeah. And I want to say it's probably has like a big ass sign. That yeah, says he's from there. Uh, this says Fairmont, but I know it's not Fairmont. It's like an outskirt of Fairmont. Outskirt of Fairmont. I know yeah. it is. I know there's a. Is little... it Mannington or Farmington? It's got to be something. Or Worthington. Like that. Yeah, it's like I'm from Morgantown. No, you're from Jane Lou. Or yeah, yeah, no, <laughs> yeah, no, you're f- no, you're from Blacksville. You're not from Morgantown. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, dude, and even in high school growing up, I was like, wonder where Clay Battelle's at. And then I get my first job and I'm like, Clay Battelle's this close yeah, to us? I know. I, know. Yeah, I did the same thing yeah. in Morgantown. I'm like, why why is it a hop skip and a jump away? And I the whole time I thought it was like in southern West Virginia. <laughs> I gotta uh, figure this CBs, out. Seabees, right? Yeah, the yeah. Seabees. Dude, but nothing beats the polka dots. Yeah. That's I the agree. best. Like you could you could make some deadly merch of just like the polka dots. Mononga. Mononga? That's a play. That's so I guess. Yeah. That sounds all right. Well, it's all right, yeah. Whatever. I mean, I know I've seen that driving. I know places. I've seen a sign home of Nick something Nick Saban. I know I have. I feel like Ma- Mononga is in between where you're going when you're heading from 100 to Morgantown. I want to say Farmington it's, and I yeah, like where it's in Fair that. Where's Fairview? Somewhere. I uh, Europe, somewhere around there. Somewhere uh, out in the boonies. Somewhere in them parts. Yeah. Dude, you got you got things, though, bro. Oh, not really. What we, do you want to talk we about? We pretty much uh, covered it. You got teens, bro. <laughs> JT, do you have anything did, else? Did, did you see the Island Boys cameo? Yeah, I'm sick of them already. <laughs> <laughs> me too, but that was like the first Island Boys thing that really made me laugh. What did they say? I didn't see so, it. Some guy quit his job and... It's like that was his way of quitting. He like got a ca- paid for a cameo with the Allen Boys, and, and that's they were what just he like, turned. Robert's in. quitting his job. They're like singing like they did. Oh my! Because he's God. an Allen boy. It was hilarious, dude. That's awesome. <laughs> what a power move. Cameo hey. is cool. So have you ever yeah. bought a cameo? No, I've had. I've seen people's, but no, dude. I I bought one. I think it was last year, two years ago. Gata from, from Gata for for oh, Marky because Marky loved yeah. Gata, and it's just Gata's like. What up, Mark? Yeah. <laughs> I, uh, it was cool. Some of the younger, like, central people at W got Rebecca Black one oh. time, which was funny. Hey, what a cool little business if you're, yeah, like, if you're, a, like, a lower list celebrity <laughs> where you're, like, I need, I want to pick up some extra. Well, I'm pissed I just started singing Carly Rae Jepsen when you said that. Oh, yeah. Friday. That's Rebecca Just Black. get paid to make little videos for people. Like, that's pretty sweet. It's always for the people that are like thirty bucks. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's it it's it's honestly like 
dumb, stupid how much side money you can yeah. make if you just yeah. become a little bit popular. No, yeah, because <laughs> you don't see like huge celebrities doing cameo. No, it's like yeah. it's like the lower, like lower level people, like. Joe Santagato, like <laughs> he like, has came like Frank the Tank was talking. Yeah, about like how he Frank the Tank did like everyone's fantasy football like list and line up. He was reading them off. That is funny, dude. That would be sick. But yeah, no. Speaking of the Barstool stuff, Jersey Jerry and the Do fights tomorrow. Uh, yeah, is it, yeah. What time's that? I think it's like at nine. So that that's down in Charleston. I'll be down. It's funny. I'll be down in Charleston, but we're not going to the fight. But me and Brady are staying at the embassy right next to the Civic Center. Oh, that's cool. Oh, man. We're getting Some down memories. there. Yeah, we're getting down there just in time to rent the fight when we could just walk down the street and you'll, go to it. You'll probably, I'm sure there's some people staying there. That's That was my thought exactly. I'm like, dude, maybe if we're, maybe if we're drunk as shit after, we could just walk downstairs to the bar and who knows who we'll see. I, I think that was a shitty thing when they were in Morgantown. It was like in the height of COVID. So we ordered it like right down the street. Yeah. Because no one could go, that kind of sucked. Be sick if they could bring it to West Bank. Oh. I don't. Yeah, they yeah, should. like why? Why? That's another thing. Like, why don't they do anything? Because it's probably too big. Fuck. You think so? You That's think it's bigger of... than the Civic Center? Wait, what? Uh, is it at the? Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, they okay. they have it at the Charleston Civic. No, Center. No, Civic Center's way. Charleston's way bigger than West Bank, oh, right? You think so? You or think? no? Maybe I haven't been I there in a long time. So. Uh, it might. It have... might. It's probably close, but. Like, if you took out, so you would have to make the ring and take out the boards, and you would extend seats down. Yeah, yeah. So, it, I mean, West Bank is probably decently pretty big. Dude. It's a perfect size for, that, for stuff, for that, dude. Yeah. Dude, it is. It's perfect size. Dave, if you're listening, bring it to Wheeling one time. Yeah, like, come on, bro. Why not? G- give, us a, give us a summer rough and rowdy. We can just go. Pup, pup Punk can play at the bridge. Yeah. Like, come on. Yeah, dude. That'd be <laughs> sick. It's going to be uh, Juice Box Promotions. We'll yeah. call Dave. We're yeah. coming. We're coming. Yeah. Like, and you brought up rough and rowdy. I just had to say something, too. Like, I can't imagine talking so much shit for months and then backing out of something preach brother like i like i genuinely mean this like i couldn't uh, i couldn't live with myself like i would be like every morning think to myself you are such a pussy do you think he's just scared dude yeah all a medical issue like shut up dude yeah he's like oh i've been sick for he must just be having second thoughts or something he's like i've been i've had a respiratory illness for four weeks and everyone's like dude how are you sick for four weeks like unless you have covid or something yeah. serious you're not sick for four weeks see like and like if you back out because you're nervous that's one thing like yeah maybe have second thoughts on something then don't talk so much shit and have your dad talk so Ugh. much shit beforehand you know what I mean? Did like, you that see shit what bug- the Fury dad said? That shit no. bugs me so much. During, <laughs> during the press conference, he's talking to Jake Paul, and he's just like, he's like, I can't wait till Tommy knocks you out, and then I'm going to take that little girlfriend of yours and bend her over and fuck her right in front of you. <laughs> oh, no. It's like, gee, you're oh, the dad. No. You're not even fighting, Yeah, man. it's like, come on, man. Folk. But <laughs> since you said it, I don't even know if I'm excited to watch him fight Tyron Woodley again. I mean, I, I, it's, I, it's the Paul, right? I'm yeah, Jake Paul. It. No, I mean, I probably won't watch it either. I'll probably just watch highlights. I'll wake up and figure out who won. That's how I know what happened. I'll 100% do the exact same thing I did last time. Buy it and fall asleep no, before no, the fight? No, no, not watch it. Say I'm not going to get it. And then everybody starts tweeting about it, and I'm like, I have to buy this. Well, they're like hands been like seen, right? Because there's there is like leaked contracts where like he can't be knocked out. But see, they're like... brothers, right? So like... But see, I heard that wasn't true. So, like, I'm seeing both I, things. I mean, I don't know. Seeing the evidence, I could yeah. see where it would be very true. Yeah, me too. especially with who them two have fought, it's like there's no fucking way. Yeah, that yeah. they didn't get knocked out. Well, regardless, now though, Woodley gets a half a mil if he knocks Jake Paul out. So there's none of those yeah. rules and any of that shit now. So that's probably why I will watch it because I feel like sadly because i really enjoy all this stuff this is probably where we see it all come to an end as soon as he loses oh for sure all of this like celebrity boxing stuff it'll still happen but it won't be as big as it is now so that's one reason why i want to watch it because if it happens yeah it's probably we're never going to be able to see 
I just want boxing to be cool again. Me too, yeah. dude. Boxing's sick. Like there's like sitting somewhere like with a bunch of people watching boxing is so awesome. Me and Brady fight with uh, Neil and Ty all the time because they they think boxing is better than the UFC, which they have a right to think that. Like I'm not saying one is better than the other, but the problem with boxing is they don't promote these under main event card fights like the UFC does. Oh, absolutely. So you only tune into boxing for that one fight. And, and that's there's no big fights anymore other than Gary yeah. and what's his face? The, yeah, Wilder. Wilder there's thanks. no reason why there couldn't be as many popular boxers as there are UFC fighters. And I just, I think are that's... Are they out there? Well, you got Canelo, you got the Charlo brothers... Yeah, Ryan, I'm obviously not the person to you know, <laughs> yeah. speak Gar- about it, but Ryan Garcia, like there are names, but not as many as the UFC. And yeah, it, oh, definitely. And I would tune into all those big boxing matches if you said, OK, here's the main fight, but here are the fights underneath, because then you start looking forward to when you see in those names again, you're like, I have to tune in at this time. Definitely. Yeah. So I don't know. But um, shout out to Dustin Poirier. Big fight. Big fight this weekend. Fighting for the third time this year, fighting for the title. Hopefully, he gets the job done. And shout out Sugar. His hair looks sick. He's got that cotton candy flow yeah. for this fight. So I'm excited to watch. Yeah. Yeah. I hope Oliveira freaking smokes Dustin. Fuck off. I dude. do so bad. Don't even start this shit. I do. I Why? can't. I just, for some reason, I think Dustin's fake. Nice guy. I think it's so fake. Oh, you're so un I think the nice guy routine is so fake. You know what? I want. I saw something today. No, I'm not un American. I want Colby Covington to go down the freaking lightweight. (laughs) Because I saw something today. Wait, what's what's Dustin fight at now? Lightweight. Welter. Welter, right? No, light. You're right. Lightweight. I saw something when they used to train together, like before, you know, you know how they weigh so much more before weighing. Uh, Kobe was always lighter than Dustin, just naturally. So I want Kobe to just cut and go down. I think he buries everybody. Well, this this might get you excited, even though it's the opposite. Dustin said if he wins, he's going up to 170. Oh, he'll get freaking smoked on Saturday, and then he gets smoked up whatever weight class you is higher. Are, you are such a hater just because you took out your your fucking favorite leprechaun boy I twice think, oh, this year. Oh, I, oh. I literally... It's all right, Hayes. See, yeah, yell at him, Hayes. Oh, my, my fault. <laughs> no, good. I just, I literally, I just think his whole nice guy routine is so, f- I think he's, it's so fake. Could be, yeah. I mean, yeah. When he's I, like, donate to my charity, donate to my charity for a freaking tax write-off or whatever. Yeah, I mean, like, that's everybody, though. You can't, you can't pin You're right, but I can't, I can't if I want to. That's true, that's true, but everybody <laughs> does that. I don't know. I you, just. Do you really want him to get smoked? Yeah, I would love to see him lose. <laughs> You're such a dick. Why? Why? What do you mean? I don't like He's him. He's the Louisiana Asian Cajun. I don't care. Fuck you. I'm uh, dude, I'm straight out of Dublin. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Dublin. <laughs> fucking Dublin. Uh-huh. You'll shut your fucking mouth. You'll do nothing. <laughs> fucking nothing. I think I think the uh I think the actual the press conference thing's tonight, so I might tune in for that. But uh, but yeah, you guys have anything else you want to touch on before we? No. This has been the quickest. I'll be honest. This has been one of the quickest hour and thirteen minutes that yeah, I've had. Yeah. Dustin Definitely. will be in the press conference. He'll be like, "Oh yeah, man, I'm just doing it for all the good guys at home. You know, pay shout out to my charity, donate to the charity." You are the biggest cocksucker, dude. Because that's what he does. <laughs> yeah, because he fucking whips everybody's ass, boy. Everybody talks about how Khabib's the best. There's only one person that's come close to being Yeah, Khabib. and I've said that a hundred. I'm not taking that away from him. And I'm not saying he's not good. I just want to say I don't say have this. to like him just because wanna... he's from America. Whatever. Why do I have... There's a lot of shitty people in America. Yeah, I don't got to like him. I just want to say this, too. I'm sick of hearing about how fucking great Khabib is. Fight somebody again if you're Am I good. right? Nobody knew who Khabib was. I didn't know who Khabib Me was neither. at all until he fought Connor. Me too. Never heard of him in my Never life. Never heard of him. Everyone's like, he's the, f- he's the best fighter. You know, he, he ret- I get why he retired. I understand. But let's not keep acting like he's the goddamn best fighter when he hasn't fought in God knows how long. You fuck. <laughs> Hasbulla would whip your ass. Shout out my guy, Hasbulla. He gets too much hate. I love that guy. Yeah, Hasbulla's a shit. I don't think he gets enough hate. <laughs> Dude, I fucking love Hasbulla. 
Yeah, and since we're shouting people out, shout out White Claw Gabe. If you're paying attention, dude, I fucking love you, bro. Yeah, next rough and rally should be White Claw Gabe versus Hasbulla. Mm, yeah, mm, fuck, baby, fuck, fuck. I like when he goes. Ooh. I like when he goes. Ooh, ooh, Usman, ooh, ooh. Usman, ooh, <laughs> Usman. I, I don't like him either. <laughs> fuck, baby, fuck, uh, baby, fuck. But uh, follow me on Twitter and, and Instagram. I changed my name after our big war that we had on Twitter <laughs> because I'm looking forward to fighting more wars, and I just didn't want to have my legal name on there because I don't want to Smart. People. I'm trying to distance myself. Yeah, also. so I really enjoyed our big Twitter fight, so I'm still trying to figure out how to say this so it rolls off the tongue. So follow me on Twitter and Instagram at Junior 1992 That didn't sound right. At JSN Junior one nine nine two, just follow me there, um, and just make sure to subscribe to the YouTube channel. And the next time you talk to me, I will have seen the greatest movie of all time, Spider Man No Way Home. Let's fucking go. Go ahead, Baba. Follow me on Instagram at the underscore Harry Slaughter. Follow me on Twitter at Bubba Slaughter. Follow me on Spotify at Bubba Slaughter. <laughs> Follow me on Space Hey Bubba Slaughter. Space Hey. Follow me on Snapchat Bubba Slaughter and read my blogs at the Juicebox Pod. Perfect. Com. Excellent. Flawless. Yeah, and you can follow me on Instagram at John Theodore Nixon on Instagram. That's John Theodore Nixon on Instagram. I'm on the Juicebox Podcast Twitter. That's at the Juicebox Pod. That's at the Juicebox Pod. Hashtag Milk Gang will be out again tomorrow, 8.30 a.m. So you already know. Follow us on Facebook, The Juice Box Podcast. We are not the diabetes. The Juice Box Podcast. Shout out Tiggy Nation at Tiggy Nation and Juice Box R. That's Z A R. Z as in zebra, A as in apple, R as in respects, R as in Reebok. Don't get it twisted. Bye bye.